Guys, my t-shirt says it. No pineapple on pizza. You tell me, how do you put a pineapple in the sauce like this? How do you put it in the sauce and then eat it? It's disgusting. Mm. Pineapple pizza, why do you eat pineapple pizza? I'm gonna show you how to make pineapple pizza if you want to make a pineapple pizza. I keep saying, no pineapple on pizza. But if you have to do that, then this is how you do it. Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate, the place where we don't eat pineapple on a pizza. We don't! But let's go through this together. Why am I wearing this t-shirt, which you can buy online, and I made pineapple pizza? What for? If you are the last person on the planet and you only have pineapples, well, this is how you make it. Pineapple pizza with no tomato sauce. What cheese goes well pineapple? Let me tell you. Parmigiano Reggiano goes so well with pineapple. They love each other. You can research on Google everywhere you want. Parmigiano is the best cheese to go with ananas, pineapple. Now, Gorgonzola, the creamy cheese that we're gonna mix, is gonna give you a nice, rich flavor to mix with the Parmigiano and the sweet pineapple. Mozzarella cheese, not too much, but we do need a mozzarella. And then M of the bone. Only use the best M, please. Do not use cheap M. First thing to do, let's cut up the pineapple into small pieces, just like this. I think that would be good, you know, for each slice. Just put it like that. I do love pineapple. I mean, pineapple on a pizza. Hmm. I guess, you know, you can do anything in, the, in life. But let's make it, all right. Do you think this is enough pineapple for one pizza? Or do we want more? Hmm? We want more? Okay, let's do more. Here. More pineapple for you. How much pineapple do you want? Hmm? That's enough, enough, enough. Now let's come here. Now what we need to do here, is we have to make a cream, okay? A Parmigiano Reggiano cream, which is the base. We are not using tomato sauce. So what we do is we grate Parmigiano Reggiano, we mix it with a little bit of water and we make the cream. You can buy Parmigiano already grated or you can actually grate it yourself which is so much better. It's like, it's like if we want to make a cacio e pepe with parmigiano. We put a little bit of water. This is not pasta water, just water from the tap. We mix. Just want to make a, a kind of a creamy base, you know? Keep adding the water. This is what we want for pineapple, because pineapple like this, they make sense together. You try. Mm. Nice kick of the parmigiano. Sweet flavor from the pineapple. Beautiful, beautiful, sensational. This is what you need to do. All right, let's stretch our pizza, guys. Here we have a beautiful pizza. You can see how I make my Napolitan pizza by watching my video, okay? The authentic way. Now, what we do is we don't want to touch the edges, okay? The edges are so special. You do not want to press on the edges, okay? This is what we do. Stretch the pizza. Okay guys, what do you do if you cannot all spread the pizza like I did before, by hand? Hmm? What do you do? Okay, it's not gonna be easy, right? So, this is what we do. We get a salad bowl. Just get a, a round salad bowl with a round base, okay? You put it here, okay? You put your pizza on top and you just stretch it like this with your hand. Do not touch the edges, please. Do not touch the edges. You just do this and push the edges to the side, okay? You still want the flour there, but you basically stretch it by doing this. This is something anyone can do. A kid can do, you can do it, anyone can do it. 
If you want to stretch, do not touch the edges, but what you do is you do that. See what you do with the hand? You just push like this. The dough is so soft that you should be able to do this. This is very simple. Look, it's done. Now, remove the pizza from the bowl. Remove the flour, because we don't want flour at the bottom. All right, guys, here is a beautiful pizza base. Now we're gonna put a topping on top. Now let's make the base for the pineapple pizza, okay? Here it is. Here it's the base. Of course, it's a white base, guys. Of course, it's white. Here it is. Bellissimo. 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 Yum, yum, yum. Parmigiano cream. Here is the gorgonzola, okay? Gorgonzola, you go with a spoon and put the gorgonzola everywhere. Everywhere. Come on, gorgonzola. Just put it everywhere. You can get blue cheese if you want. You can get a nice Irish blue cheese. Or anything else that you want. Anything nice and strong in flavor. Here we go. So the cheese is first, okay? Next is the mozzarella, okay? Put the mozzarella here. And if an Italian is going to eat pineapple pizza, well, this is how you do it. Now it's time for the pineapple, the queen of this pizza. Put the pineapple here, pineapple everywhere. Hello, pineapple. Just put the pineapple everywhere. And can I say, while you do this, you have a slice, please eat it, because pineapple is so yummy. Just a reminder, no pineapple on pizza, okay? This is just a video where I have fun and where I show you not to eat pineapple with tomatoes. Oh, eat pineapple on their own. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's put the ham. I try to put the ham on top of the gorgonzola, okay? We cover the gorgonzola with the ham, not the pineapple. Oh, beautiful off the bone ham. Only the best. Do not buy the cheap ham, please. Put the ham everywhere. Okay, and here we go. The ham will shrunk when you put it in the oven, okay? And now we're ready to bake the pizza. Let's put the pizza on the pizza peel and let's bake it in the oven. Napolitan pizza, which we're gonna cook in the oven at 400 Celsius. Okay guys, let's put the pineapple pizza in the oven. And let's see what's gonna turn out. But it's gonna take now 90 seconds for a pizza to cook. It's a Napolitan pizza made with pineapple. If a Napolitan friend watch me doing this, huh, I'm really risking my life here, guys. This is very dangerous what I'm doing. A Napolitan pizza with pineapple on top. <laughs> it's a big no-no. But look how beautiful the cheese is melting. Look at the Parmigiano at the bottom there. Look how fantastic it looks. Look how creamy, huh? That's what you want, guys. Not the sauce, not the tomato sauce. You want that beautiful Parmigiano. Now, let's take it out and let's turn. All right, the first side here, it's cooked. Now we turn the side and we do 15 seconds per side. Look how beautiful the, the, the Parmigiano melted. Look at that. Look how wonderful. The oven is at 400 Celsius degrees and it's cooking a beautiful pineapple pizza. Well, I'm not sure if it's beautiful, but it's cooking the pineapple pizza. Let's turn it now. Now this side is cooked. Let's do the third side for 15 more seconds. Let's do this other side. Oh yeah, we want the edges to grow. The ham is cooking. Okay, let's take it out. Oh, okay, look at it. The other side is done. We got one more side to cook. Look at that. One more side and we will be done. Okay, the pineapple pizza. I mean, it's a better idea, no tomato sauce, but we've got the melting cheese, mozzarella, gorgonzola, parmigiano, the ham, the pineapple. It's a much better idea. The crust is nice, but tell me one thing. Why do I want this and I don't want this? I mean, if I go to a pizzeria, you tell me, why would I pick this over this? Look how wonderful this is one. Look at this one, a beautiful salami pizza. Why would I go for this? Hmm? You tell me. Why would I pay for this? Terrible pizza when I can have this one. Hmm? You know what? I'm still going to taste this pineapple pizza for you and then I tell you, okay? With the parmigiano, maybe, maybe it's something I can have. Let's see. Let's try. Let's try.
Now let's cut this pizza, which actually, because of the Napolitan dough, it doesn't look that bad. The crust is nice, this beautiful Napolitan dough that I made. Okay, look, it doesn't look that bad, okay? It is a guilty pleasure. It does look okay. Now let's eat it and let's see how it is. The gorgonzola takes over. Mm. The pineapple and the parmigiano and the gorgonzola, they go really well together. The ham, I can taste it. The mozzarella, I can taste it. But the gorgonzola, the parmigiano and the pineapple, oh my God, very strong flavors. And they do like each other. Mm. I have to say, what I said before was wrong. You can have pineapple on a pizza if you do it this way. It's actually very interesting. It's actually a very in interesting concept. I don't mind it, to be honest. It's not my choice. If I had to choose a pizza, this is the pizza I would choose. But it's not that bad. Mmm. 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 It's not bad at all. I love it. Mmm. Mm. The importance of gorgonzola. Mm. You don't need that kick. Mm. Nice creation. Nice, nice creation. So what can I say? Thank you so much for watching this episode. Let me know what you think of this. Uh, and let me know if you think you can do this. And if you think you will enjoy eating this. Uh, but we will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia. Pineapple pizza.